In this video, I'll be guiding you guys on how to create a fleet maintenance split sheet in Excel. So let's get started. Now, first of all, we are going to be going ahead and starting by making a heading. So I'm just going to go ahead and merge all the cells to column number T, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and write down the heading as fleet maintenance. Yeah, that should work. Then obviously I'm going to go ahead and format this. I'm just going to go ahead and increase the font size to 18. Increase the length of the column. Then align it obviously to center. And then obviously I'm going to go ahead and also give it a color change. So I think that's good. And I'm going to make the text bold. Alright, that looks good to me. And I would also go ahead and add the borders around it so it looks more organized. Then... Now we're going to go ahead and get started by adding all the columns, all right? So the first column that we have is vehicle ID. So I'm just going to write it here, vehicle ID, perfect. Then we have the make. Now when I say make, I mean the company that made the car. So it could be Ford, Toyota, and etc. Then I have the model. Now under this comes that, for example, F-150, Camry, like various models of the cars. Then we have year. Alright, so like for example, the 2020 model, 2022 model. Then we have VIN, which is vehicle identification number. Then we have the purchase date. So purchase date. I'm just going to go ahead and make the column a bit bigger because it's a bit long. Then we have the odometer, okay? Odometer. And make sure that you change the format of this column to number, okay? So to do that, all you have to do is um, select the whole column, go to journal, and then from here, go ahead and click on number. All right, that works. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in the purchase date. And I'm just going to increase the column size again. And then purchase price. Price. You could also go ahead and make the size for this big as well. So like that. Perfect. Then we have the fuel type. So fuel type. So here it could be, for example, gasoline, diesel, electric. Then we have insurance policy. And obviously going to double click here to adjust the size. Then we have insurance expiry. So insurance expiry. And obviously I'm going to go ahead and adjust the size. And again, I'm going to go ahead and change the format to number. I mean to date because expiry is usually in date. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose long date. Okay. Then we have driver assigned. So driver assigned. And then we have service date. Now again, this is another thing which consists of date. So I'm going to go ahead and change the format to long date. Then we have service type. So service type. So then service cost. Okay, now this comes under the number format. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it to number. Then we have the fuel date. Now I know there are quite a lot of columns, but this is what's going to make your fleet maintenance sheet more better and basically more outstanding than other sheets on the internet so fuel date and this is again in the date format then we have fuel liters so fuel liters i'm just gonna go ahead and scroll through again then we have fuel cost 
and lastly we have notes and here you can include any additional information that might be important so that's basically up to you i'm just going to increase the size for that and on these two columns are number format so i'm just going to go ahead and change that to number now obviously our information is entered but i'm just going to make the size a bit small so we can see all the information at once now i'm going to select all of them and start formatting them okay so go ahead select all of them then um i'm actually gonna go ahead and choose quite a bit of rows so you can enter all the information there i'm gonna give all of them a border but obviously i'm gonna now format the first row so i'm just gonna do make them bold i can even change the forty point if i want you can go ahead and choose any i'm just gonna keep it simple and choose this one okay i'm gonna increase the size as well i think this is good enough and i'm gonna align all of them middle like that okay now obviously your vehicle id let's say is v001 then you can go ahead and add v002 and so on let's say the make is ford i'm just making an example let's say the model is f 150 let's say the year is 2022 and the vehicle identification number is unique so that's up to you and then you can write the purchase date the automator oh we have repeated purchase date so i'm just going to go ahead and delete one column okay so just ignore that we can go ahead and change this to something else as well okay then we have a purchase price fuel type insurance policy expiry travel assigned service date service type service cost fuel date fuel liters fuel cost and notes now obviously you're go you're free to change anything you wish to you can go ahead and replace a lot of stuff here depending on what your company needs so yeah that'll be basically it for the video i hope that this video has helped you out and i'll be seeing you guys next time peace out